Test, test. Uh, what is that there? There we go. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. TMTC1 going live on the 14th for the 4th, 2019, give or take a 5 past 7. I'd like to say I apologise for being late, but I would be absolutely telling porkies as my better half and I have been out with the girls because she goes on holiday for a week today, so we went out for some food and just spent some time, good quality time with the family and the kids. You know what it is, you know what it's about. So I have had a bit of a read on Steam and by all accounts I believe TDC does work. That was the general rule of thumb. I mean you guys can see that yourself. It's it's been in there, it's not been hidden. Greetings, child friendly as always, class. How are you, young sir? Uh, great to see you stream again, TFC. Cheers from Poland. Wars. Hello, hello, hello. This will only be, I will tell you that now, guys, it will only be a short stream. It will be give or take a two hour stream because it's nine o'clock. Believe it or believe it not, as, as I'm always honest for you guys, as I said, my better half is going on a holiday. I need to update a sat nav that's going to take me a good best part of an hour or so to do that. And then I've got work tomorrow, and I have to be in work at seven, and my Journey to work is an hour, so I get up at 20 past 5. Schneller, schneller. So, unfortunately, it'll be back to two-hour streams in the week and stuff, so we will literally be in, straight into the action, get as much done as we can, and go from there, so I make no apologies for that. For all those people that have been following on the YouTube, that's been ticking along quite nicely all day with extra subs, so I appreciate that, guys. I genuinely do. We also know that yesterday, if you've watched... Excuse me, if you've watched the uh, the streams from yesterday, we ended yesterday on a good old massive bug <laughs> that pretty much scuppered us. So we are deleting everything that we have and starting from scratch. Good old times. So today's focus for, for us is, if we can, together to figure out the TDC because it is there and it is usable from what I was reading on Twitch. Um, I'm not sure whether you guys have read read Twitch and, and seen that, but that is the plan for today. We are just going to go out, take a mission, find uh, find some kind of interaction where we can torp something and then try and test the manual side of things. So we'll, we'll go typical sandbox mode. Not going to bother adding any units on that. There hasn't been any updates, so it is 106. And I, I kid you not, I have absolutely no idea how to use the TDC. Uh, so we are genuinely looking at this. And there may be one or two of you that are absolutely screaming at your, your screens. Telling me how to do it, trying to figure it out. Put it in Twitch chat and we'll, like I said, we'll try and figure it out together. That's the plan. Uh, Thunderbolt 90, uh, 9987. Greetings from Germany. Let's get on patrol and sink some Brits. <laughs> you leave the Earl Grey drinking people alone. Yeah, ATS is great to see you again, Hawks. Nice evening, buddy. Von Felch, how are you, young sir? Still appreciate, and I really still appreciate the donations and bits and all that good stuff. Uh, short, short or not, let's do this thing. Absolutely. We've gone over the plans for today, so I am basically going to spank this out as fast as we can. So. Apologies if it's not my normal, uh, what the? This boy's getting his cook on? And there wasn't a patch, and yet all of a sudden this second officer is going cooking? Uh, does it do anything though? Cooking this officer, cooking is this officer's hobby, he's currently cooking. A cook boast to integrate with the crew. Hmm, is he now? Well, that don't look right. <laughs> close, close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> this is a family friendly stream. Oh my days. <laughs> they added the cookbook. Yeah, it's in the change log. 
<laughs> we haven't got any sausage on the menu, have we? Yeah, hello. Yeah, boy. On Phil's down. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that so, so much. You are so generous and so kind. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so let's get. Wow, it's gonna be one of those days, is it? Whew. <laughs> He's getting a bit friendly with the. Cr yeah. The cook always gets shot, so you know. Uh, food. Oh, I was, I was kind of hoping there was going to be some sausages there. We were going to move some sausage over, but never mind. Family friendly stream, he says. It's going out the window. It's already going the shape of the pair. Let's get some food. My boy's loading some torpedoes. Let's just throw some over, because let's face it. This By this time tomorrow night, if we're honest, the devs are going to have patched this. There's no two ways about that. Fair play to those. Um... Uh, Let's leave the recruitment officer as it is. Headquarters, let's just start some kind of research. Radar detection. We know we've got a radar man already out there. So we'll just get him on the case, that's fine. Radio, we do need a mission, don't we? Let's just grab that while we're here. <laughs> we'll not save him, but it's good to have backup cook. Yeah, that's true. The cook was shot for performance. <laughs> Am I still in the crew? Von Felch, I haven't done the crew yet, my friend. Haven't, because this is literally a fresh start. And you've just, uh, yep, you've just donated 200 bits. That puts you uh, top of the, top of the... Uh, what did I want to do? What did I, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, so, Von Felch, pick, pick your crew, man. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? That's on you today. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just going to take a patrol sector easy. That's all we want to do is get out there and find something. Uh, so Von Felch, you can be the uh, engineer, let's call him engineer one, engineer two. Engineer one is always polishing the torpedoes. I'm not quite sure at what point this started to get a bit... <laughs> hey, hey team, I volunteer for cook duty. It would be an honour. Uh, number two, you want to be uh, west. You were west yesterday. You want to be west? Capitaine. Gifting a tier one saw, but they've gifted. Ah, oh, Hawks LA1. Thank you so much. So, so, so much. Appreciate that. So, so, uh, I'm up to, because I've always been open and honest, I'm up to $75 in my Twitch account. Twing. So, I need 10 more subs. Then I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get 10 more subs over the next 20 days. 10 more subs, and yay, I'll get paid in 40 days from Twitch. Woohoo! Ting, ting. I'm in the money. Next up. Vegas, baby. Uh, yep, engineer. So, Phelps, you are the engineer. Absolutely. There you go. Oh, let's, let's get you on there quite quickly. Uh, where are you, Vom? It is just Felch, isn't it? F E L C H. There you go, young sir. You are the grease monkey. Grease monkey! That's what we say in the. Uh, we, well, British Army, when the British Army want a mechanic, it's called a grease monkey. <laughs> Not always, but that's what it is. Claire's Knight, hi Matt from the USA, hello to the USA, tidy, yeah, she squared away young sir, and who else got the sub, get to, uh, look, so they just gifted a T1 sub to Tortilla Boy 8, uh, if you're on the screen, thanks to Hawk, you are indeed, you are able to pick from Engineer 1, a radio man, the cook, <laughs> and the officer. So, do you have the devs reported that ship uh, are stationary? Do you have a chip? Did you ever see the movie Napoleon Dynamite? N um, I don't think I did. If I'm honest, I've watched quite a few movies over my tw over my years. <laughs> some good, some bad. I can, I can honestly say that some good, some bad. Hopefully we've got another couple of torpedoes now, because let's face it, if we're going out, we definitely wanted to go out with, some, with a couple of torpedoes. Has he loaded the stern one? He has. What an absolute legend to the torpedo polisher. Superb. 
And I think we're just at, that's us done, isn't it? We're, we've got boat, we've got food. Uh, the cook is sharing his love in the old uh, thing. We've got some research going on. Let's just get out of here, I think. we got some testing to be doing. I think it's on Steam Forum as a bug report. Um, some budget to get the crew. <laughs> Here's the cook dies. Klaus, again, man, you are such, such, a, such a nice, nice, kind person. Genuinely mean that. Thank you so much. And you don't have to do that at all. Greatly appreciated. My kids eat tonight. <laughs> uh, was there an update? Claire, no, no update. And I will call you uh, Claire's. Can I call you Claire? Or is it Claire's night as in Claire's boyfriend? In which case it would be highly inappropriate to call you Claire. But I could just call you Knight. I don't know. Perhaps I'm just being lazy. In all, in all, in all honesty, I need to give uh, give my boy some crew. Uh, he's got some crew. That's fine. Radio man, let's give him one one radio. He's got two. We'll take him off there just for a minute. And my boy up top. Please consider doing a screenshot of the moment two screens ago. I think there was a great camera shot of a submerged sub and depth charges all around it. Classic, we need it. Where was that? Oh, two screens ago. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Wars, it should be on. Uh, it should be on my stream or YouTube, mate. So you can feel free to pause and screenshot your life to death, my friend. When you attack the destroyer, yeah. That's my daughter's name. How old's your daughter's? Mine is 18. 18. It goes like that. I kid you not, ladies and gents. It is absolutely scary how fast that went. Shocker. That's yeah. all I'm saying. No excuses. Um, let's get out of here. Where is... The easy one's normally down here somewhere. There you go. Mistakes were made. I wonder if we. I wonder if it'd have been easier to come down here. Well, we're on our way now. That doesn't matter. Me, master. How are you, young sir? Hope you are well. Who had the other? <laughs> Never a problem. But let's hope we break the one hundred dollar mark. Uh, Hawks are they one? If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Um, that is. On me to break that, not not you guys. And under no circumstances are you guys to, uh, you know, as I, it's kind of weird. When I first started streaming, I you'll notice uh, on my streams, I do not have, I do in in chat for um, what do you call them bits, but on my general mains, yes, you have the subscription notifications and all those kind of good things, but I do not have, do not have. That's so bad. I do not have the highest donator of stuff like that for the month and that is purely and simply because um i normally play league of legends and league of legends is quite a competitive game so what happens is you are then surrounded in theory by competitive people in chat and if one one individual donates let's just call it 10 pounds and then another individual donates 10 pounds only one of those individuals can be at the top so does that individual then donate 10 pounds 50 to get the top and then somebody else then that's missed out by 50 pence go Phew, I'm going to donate a pound and it starts that kind of mentality and, and I didn't want that for people's money and I, and I mean that in the nicest possible way and, and if other streamers have that then that's fine and that's that's how they set them up but that's the reason I don't have a highest donator is, is because People can, people can donate, or all the options are there for people to donate, but it's their choice, and they do it out of the kindness of their own heart, um, not to be at the top of some little thing flashing on the screen, because that, that would genuinely break my heart to think that people are, are spending their hard-earned money just to be at the top of a screen on, on an individual. But that's down to them. Uh, absolutely, and I was scrolling up to the top for... Uh, Tortilla Boy, you still haven't named your crew unless I've missed something. And I haven't scrolled down chat, so I am shocking. Bear me one moment until I catch back up. Rant over, shall we say. 
Tell them people how are you? I will be AFK for a bit back as soon as possible. Von Felch, take your time, young sir. Appreciate you dropping in and uh, dropping those bits, those little biddies on me. Thank you so much. Genuinely mean that. Made some beef jerky today. My body is ready for warfare. Nice. Can you choose what port you start? Tooney? No, you can't. Not at the moment, my friend. There is literally um, Port La Rochelle at the moment. We start on free roam, and I do believe the port up here. Where are we? Over here. Port of Willenshaven. We went there yesterday and we found a little bit of a bug on that. Now that somebody else choose the name if they want. Uh, basically, you only get to choose your name if you have a subscription or... Um, uh, yeah, subscribe or, or some bits and stuff. Some Something where I can then just say thank you if that kind of makes sense. But appreciate that. Simwave. Simwave, back to you, young sir. Are we away? We are. Let's get up to the fifth one. So today's test is somehow between us. I'm not sure how many is 38 of us in. Woo, let's have some of that. Anybody else streaming the game, or is it just us? Well, it's 568 people, so uh, I'm guessing the... Yes. Lousy is streaming. And me. i got 37 viewers to his 531. But I know most of mine personally, so... In your face! <laughs> now, best, best of luck to him. And he's, sp he's spreading the love of the game, so... Duff my cap and hope it's going well. Watch out for those death charges. I don't, I don't know, I don't even want to see him. But you know we're going to be up close and personal. Between us, our sole goal today is to figure out how. This is our challenge to figure out how to fire TDC manually. Um, and let me see if I can just pull up. So I'm just, I'm just looking at Twitch uh, notification, new comment. I'm just looking at Steam gameplay versus videos. Uh, yeah, so this was from Neil Cat, the developer, because um, he said it was in. So my response was, if I am wrong, I apologise, and I'm happy to demonstrate on stream if I knew how to do it. And he's put, no problem, wasn't referring dialect to your post, but about this room is generally, I highly appreciate you streamers, so what we're doing, thanks. You can access manual, UZO slash periscope mode, and tools associated with them, in the same way you enter manual mode for all guns on the deck. Uh, and then it says in brackets, or, or but if you like to cheat a bit, you can also use old silent hunter map tricks and use map plotting tools to complete enemy vessel distance, velocity and direction. So somewhere on the UZO and slash periscope is those tools. Well, 2 dc was kept uh, up on the conning tower. Yep, yeah, so we know where the TDC is. Uh, let's, where's my radio, man? We know where the TDC is, so we're either going to use the TDC or the periscope when we get closer to these peeps and see if we can then do a TDC. Uh, I must say, this TOG designation, something or other. Well, that research happened a little bit too quick. Uh, that's the Uzo. Yep. Uh, Tommy side, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that, young sir. Where are we? So we've done that. Let's go for uh, hydrophone, just because we've got a radio man back at base. Re base really. I just would have used to the attack periscope and also keep the conning tower. See, I thought it'd have been through attack periscope as well, but unless we're schneller, wrong. Schneller, schneller, schneller. Did we translate that radio message? Capitaine. And if so, what was it? Because I forgot. We have information that Crucial Towns has been loaded on a freighter. Find the Empire Lagoon ship. It must be sunk at all costs. Well, there we go. We are... Oh, there she is. Have it. Full steam. Ah, uh, crew morale is dropping. So we are slacking. We need to move some food over. Um, who have we got? He is not polishing his torpedoes. Why he's not polishing the torpedoes, we will definitely, yeah, we'll definitely move over the 40 pineapples. Let's get, let's make sure that happens. 
Thank you for the follow, uh, Boromir. Boromir. Thank you for that. Torpedo data computer. There we go. TDC. Target designator computer. Torpedo data. Oh, well, I just suck. Let's face it. This is, this is where, like, there's 39 of you in that absolutely love submarine games going, is this the best person we could get to stream these games? Really? Really? This fella? Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Not bad. <laughs> so he must be screaming his head off going, no. Oh, that's better. How is the game? Is it like Silent Hunt now? Jgang48, it is... It is, yeah, it's a mix. It, I quite like it. Feel free for yourself, my friend. Um, YouTube links down below while you're over there. Click the subscribe button. Cha ching! Thank you very much. Uh, or you can watch the past few days on Twitch if you if you like that. Whatever platform you want to do, they are genuinely all there, my friend. Uh, thanks for the follow, Claire's night. Thanks for the follow. You forgot the food, man. I know. It's because I'm I literally just want to get out because I'm very conscious of the time that I have. Um, trying to get out there, trying to get this T TDC. I'm going to call it Tarzik Designated Computer. <laughs> target data <laughs> whatever the computer <laughs> the Amy torpedo thing <laughs> uh, I want to I want to test that I want to see how we can get that to work um, where are we now did he move that food over that's the question did he move the food over uh, where are we galley no he didn't use why you move move it over you suck yes do it you slacker. Now, there he goes. What do these little flash symbols below the sections mean? Can you turn off... Uh, okay, yeah, I can explain that one. So what happens is you can... This one here is basically evacuate the section, and this one here is turn the power off to the section. So if I come down here, where there, there, there is nobody in at the moment, I can turn the lights off. Uh, if you click that one, that's the evacuation. Everybody leaves the room and bolts the bulkhead door shut. You will also have occasionally one that looks like, if actually if I go to the middle compartment you may be able to see that. No, not at the moment. It's like a little, it'd be almost like a teardrop symbol, a water drop. And that water drop means um, you can move water. So if, if it's in this section of the boat here and you click the water, they'll come with buckets and start moving the water and they drop the water down here which is where the bilges are and then start the pump and it throws it out I'm so hyped for this game imagine you could play this co-op yeah that I would imagine that could be quite nice co-op so that's good where are we foods going back up that's great uh, we also need him while he's there to go into the storage room I don't even know what I'm going to do this to be honest because in reality we probably won't use them but move the potassium absorbers put those into the ventilation nice thank you good to know yep Klaus try and get as much information across to you guys as I can sure thing so that the physical copy is in Poland only from what I understand oh really Poland only for a physical copy well there you go I was going to move some deck gun up, but let's not fake it. We don't want to do that. We want... Right, let's go. Let's do this. Eight... Oh, my God. There's eight or nine of these. Eight to 19. It's a large convoy. Didn't we just ask this for easy? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> this could be an interesting test. Let's just let's just stay on the surface at the moment. I, I, I did see one or two comments on um, in Steam as well. It basically, it, it wasn't saying that we're terrible. It was saying that we we're not authenticate we're not authentic enough. So you know we should be uh, dropping to periscope depth at this point and sneaking around and doing all these kind of things. And, and I'm thinking. Alarm! I'm thinking. Auf zero tiefe gehen. I, I kind of get the point, but. We're testing the game, and the last thing I want to be doing is sneaking all the way around here and, and, and doing this and trying to get this best shot of an angle here or, or around here for the best shot of an angle here just for it to crash when I get home. 
my job is to is to pretty much test the absolute big gubbins out of the game and then when you want to be sneaky and stealthy and go all the way around the back and do all those kind of good things by all means do that now somehow in there <laughs> i need to find a ship <laughs> this could be fun so i think what we're going to do is my boy here is on attack periscope wechseln auf e motor yeah, the cook for some unknown random reason can go and get on there and my yeah, boy Leute. can go and get on the sonar Zu Befehl. and i think these guys are still uh, uh, these guys were coming at us i believe so let's just forward one and try and give ourselves a little bit of time and see if we can find these these things One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looking at thirteen ships here. Woo. New contact on propeller noises. Why has he gone to bed? Well, no, that's not what I said. So he's on attack periscope. That's fine. My boy has gone to bed. That's not what I said. I said. Up on the periscope. You slacker, you dirty slacker. And then, as what I normally do, I'm going to take the boat to seven meters, not eight, because I think eight is just a little bit too deep. And you kind of just, as you can see here, the waves just lap it. Run silent now, let's do that too, just for those authentic geezers. Where's my light switch? There it is. I had it then. Darn. I suck at this game today. Uh, that's the front. Let's get over here. This is back. There it is, hiding behind, behind the meat. Silent running, which is blue for those that don't know. Uh, let's just get over there because at the end of the day, we're just testing, aren't we? We want to get the. Uh, we want to get the information. I love it, the hydrophone's quite, kind of gone quiet. It's six kilometers to there, so we're talking four kilometer distance. Here we go. So now what I'm going to do is just Alarm! slow one. Corvette. And have you shot the cook? Where are we? So that's nine or zero, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. So 340, 350-ish. Give or take. So let's go for 340, 350 on the periscope. Manual mode. Uh, is it up high enough? There we go. We can take it up a little bit higher. 340-ish, did I say? There. Is that it? There. Do you guys agree with that? I think. Let's go for zoom in times eight. And then lower this thing down slightly. Am I missing this thing? Or am I missing this thing? Let's go times three. Just for a moment. Where did it go? Where did it go, George? No, it's definitely there. Definitely there, so let's go times eight. And let's go to glass, which is that there. There it is. Oh, hello, pretty baby. Lock on target there, which is that there, I believe. Now we want this one, don't we? So we can lock on that. Come on, give me a lock. See, that's a destroyer. We definitely want, don't want to destroy it. Has anybody seen? So, what is that? That is the identification book. So, I've seen the identification book before. Ah. Okay. Okay. 
So I have seen this. This is slightly different. Ah, okay. So I have seen this. So let's do... That's a Corvette. Can, is there any way where we can just target the... What is that? That's a freighter. That's the boy we... I think we, that's the boy we ideally want, isn't it? That kind of one there. Let's slow up. Let's just bring ourselves to a stop, I think. Langsamer. You sit your pick. Oh, is it? I suck. Hang on then. Um, yep. Let me just do a webcam. Take the lock off that. Let's do that. And let's do that. So, there we go. Good shout. Back to the torpedo, manual mode. We can then go to... Let's go to glass. And zoom in. That is 100. We definitely want to be going backwards, just for a minute. There we go, look at that bad boy. Let's go times 8. Whew. Somebody getting paid. Let's lock onto that. There we go. And then I think it's kind of these here, isn't it? So this is the identification book. This identifies the ship. An Empire Bell. Would we say that that looks like an Empire Bell? Or an Empire Tower. That looks more like an Empire Tower, that. Ooh, or an Empire Explorer. So that kind of... Oh, that's a Liberty, isn't it? Recognise. So we've recognised that it's a Liberty. So that's the ID book. This is the st stand meter tool. This tool is used to estimate the distance to the target. Is it? How, does it? how do I estimate that then? Uh, tower got one mass less. Three masts. Hang on then, so let's go back to the identification book. So, the Liberty. Oh, hang on, why is that not zoomed in? So, zoom in times eight. Oh, you stinker. Zoom in times eight. I'm pretty sure that's. times one times eight there we go that's got one this can I lift up higher no one two three three masts three masts so identification book three masts so that uh, Liberty has got three Thank you for following. Thank you for following, young sir. So that, that to me definitely looks like a Liberty. One, two, three. One, two, three. With a big double mast at the back here. Yeah, no? Will we agree. So it's the Liberty. Uh, look round at the aft. Yeah. So let's go for that then. This fella. I'm not quite sure how this. Stand me is a tool used to estimate distance to target. Yeah, Liberty agreed, cool. Not sure how we do that. What's this one do? Crime is used to estimate the velocity of the target. One, point the periscope at the front of your target. Yep. Start the chromator, wait for the whole ship to get past the observation point and stop the chromator, okay. So we got to do that. Start the clock. You need to go to attack periscope. Do I? Do I need to go to the attack periscope? No, no. <coughs> Jump, Jesus! Thank you for the follow, my friend. 
This is like the slowest uh, target designating system I've ever seen in my life. No, you don't need to. So at least we're doing this manually. That's we're going to give this a whirl, guys. Uh, that's you know. Let's see how this goes. That's all I'm saying. We'll see how this goes. It may or it may not work, but at least we've tried this manually. For all those people out there that want to do it manually, we can say we've tested it. We can say we want to do it. Ta-da! It doesn't actually say though how much we're zoomed in. So doesn't does it say that you need to be zoomed in or not zoomed in? Wait for the whole ship to get past the observation point and stop the chromatic. Right, okay. That's the plan. Nearly there. And stop. Happy days. Oh, do we? Oh, we suck. I think we suck. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, do we have to click distance here and then click this here? How is that measuring the distance? I'm, I'm not seeing that. You have to press set. Ah, okay, so I've got, I've got the set. So we've got the speed, that's cool. How do I get this one? Distance. How do I get distance? Do I... Right click, left click. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Jawohl. How do we do that? I'm clicking it and I'm clicking it. So we're not doing that one. Let's go for this one. What does this one do? Course. Course. Rotate the disc to visually, visually match the course of your target. So that's looking like about that to me ish I think there would we say there ish at about 100 degrees 100 degrees there happy with that boys and girls see I'd, I'd have gone more there maybe 110 yeah I'd have gone more the 110 ish right set We haven't collected enough data to fire at this target. We need to estimate the distance, velocity and course of our target. How do we get distance? The standard meter tool, standard meter tool is used to measure distance. Yep, how do I do it though? <laughs> eh. And now the ghost rule it. Yeah, that's this thing, isn't it? No, the course the ghost ruler didn't we just do that maybe then use the game map yeah game map map where are we targeted on <laughs> what are we locked on to what are we locked on to that's the question <laughs> Kind of cheating. Uh, so manual mode, we're definitely locked onto that. Liberty, six kilometers, three fifty point nine. Liberty, three fifty. Uh, that one, no, or that one. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? Because we've got some details here. And that's four kilometers away. So it says four kilometers to distance. So if we go back to here. Manual mode. Distance is four. How do we set four kilometers? Is that point zero zero? Four point zero zero, enter. Oh, that's zero meters, though, isn't it? The distance, zero meters. That's not right. 4,000 meters? Four kilometers. There we go. 
So in theory then, in theory, we should now be able to launch the torpedo at this. 4,000. How many guys to? Should we do it? Manual torpedo mode. I'm liking it. I'm oh, kidding. <laughs> 4,000. 4,000 meters. Ready? Three, two, one. Los! Los! And I think, on that note, let's see what we hit. Manually testing the torpedoes, boys and girls. I, I know for all those people in there that are now going, dive, 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 get out of there, turn, move your bearings, do this, do that, go and hide. We're testing, boys and girls, we are literally testing. In theory, we're supposed to be looking for a ship of a specific type, but it would just be nice for the manual torpedo to work. I don't even mind if it's a miss. It's just a rough demonstration. You guys can hone your skills over your time. You can do what it is you like. But from our perspective, let's get find our, our fishies. Let's go and get a video. And four kilometers is a bit of a trek. So let's just fast forward time ever so slightly and see what we hit. The torpedoes covered half the distance. That isn't bad, I have to say. That isn't bad at all. So I think the question is, is one, I'm going to leave this, and that it, that is looking pretty smooth. And I will clip this out and edit this and put it on YouTube for a, a manual TDC. Oh, that's beautiful. Impact, baby. So if we go back to this fella now, and we get a manual mode. Serious damage on that ship. And we zoom in. Oh, no, no, my bad. And we go to... Can we zoom in? Hmm. I'd like to say that went well, but in reality, I don't think that was the one we were aiming at. <laughs> I don't think that was the one we were aiming at. That's the, or is it just me? I can't see. Let's, do you know what? I'm just going to take the boat up. We sunk something. Oh, ah, how are we aiming at this fella here and hit this fella here? That's... Is that what's just happened there? So, depth meter. It's a convoy size, you're bound to hit something. That's what I mean. So I want to make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at, if that makes sense. Otherwise, we just suck. Six meters. Why can I not? Six meters. Let's go times three on the scope. So, what did we hit? That's the question. What did we hit? So, we are locked on that, he says, and yet we can still move. No, so let's lock on that. Use the attack scope, attack periscope. Yeah, let's Capitaine. do that. Let's go for the attack periscope, uh, which is my boy here. Graphic, manual mode. Let's get ourselves up in the air. Let's get ourselves some vision. Oh, that's looking a bit more realistic, isn't it? Um, where are we? Let's go a long way around. Where are they? There they are. Ooh. That one's looking... Let's go for... Why can I not lock onto that one? Let's see if we can lock onto that, that and that. 
Oh, that one's looking fat and juicy over there. So we're, go we're going to lock onto that one. E. Happy days. Times eight. Ah, no, yeah. So I don't think we were far off, guys, because there's the one that's sinking. We weren't far off. I think we were just fortunate or unfortunate, the fact that we hit that. So I, I'm fair to say I'm quite pleased with that. And that one has stopped. So let's go for... We could almost refire at that and see what happens, you know. Or is it just me? Would you mind to go back to the uh, attack periscope to check if stand me at all works on that scope? Thunder, about to do that now, my friend. So the stand meter on that one. is used to estimate the distance to target. Press Q and E to rotate to the ghost ship. Oh, okay. Q and E to rotate. What have I got to do there? Just match? Or... Image so that its level is on the level of the highest mast. That? Set? She's researching... Yeah. Got it. Match the ghost ship to the top, uh, top of the mast. Hang on then. Is that me doing that wrong? So... Let's set that and ooh, hang on, my bad. Come here, where are you? Q and E, top of the mast. Was that ah? That's the ghost. See which was the ghost ship? <laughs> First cross uh, must be at sea level. The ghost ship keel needs to be on top of the actual mast okay so the gold ship keel needs to be on top of the mast which is about there set four kilometers give or take you're right my good son right so we've got that um we're okay on the stopwatch ship is Let's go for, I uh, see, I think it's more like that now, around about 90 degrees at this stage. 100-ish. Set. Six kilometers, and I think the six kilometers is less than that. I don't actually think it's moving. So I think speed is zero kilometers. Zero kilometers an hour. I would say 90-95, reckon? No, not that one. This one. So let's go 92. We'll, we'll do for it again. Let's go 90, 93. That'll do. Turn speed to zero. Yep. Set. Speed is zero. We're happy with that. We're happy with that. Let's go for tube three. And tube four. Happy with that, boys and girls. Let's give it some. Angle would be zero. Would not matter at zero speed. Yeah, I think it's just kind of the angle of the. Um, yeah, time to sink, Tommy. Let's go for it. Loss! Loss! Two torpedoes in the water as we speak. Let's give it some. And where is it? It is. It's gonna be hit. Is it gonna be? It's gonna be this one here, isn't it? It's got to be this one here, because that's the one that sunk, and it was just behind that. So this is manual aiming, take two. And we're aiming, aiming, aiming. We're aiming at this boat here, man. We give it a good shot, and we sink it. Where did that bit come from? Oh my days. It go a boop. <laughs> yep, yeah, for those people that live in Jamaica and other Western countries, I truly apologise for my terrible accent. <laughs> uh, we'll go for the one at the back and do what we did just. That is looking terrible, or is it just me? 
Because isn't that the one over there that's sinking? Uh, I think it's fair to say mistakes have been made here somewhere. The torpedo is on the way to the goal. Rohr 4 geladen. Am I really going to hit that? Well, that Corvette's having it. Bad boom on him. So where on earth? I mean, he's jogged off and gone for a cuppa at that stage. Hasn't he? he has. He's jogged off and gone to bed. Look, vital times, and he's done one and gone to bed. Hello, something went wrong in the calculation. I think it's fair to say that uh, a little something, something went wrong there. Definitely. <laughs> How did we end up? Actually, let's have a look at that. Where did we sink? So we've sunk the Corvette here. And we were aiming at... I think this one here. Uh, and very soon let's check the stream on YouTube uh, and when uploaded to see it unless TMTC show it again. What was that, my friend? Not the game itself, but TDC. So we kind of sucked at that. Let's go for... Right. Another freighter time. So the TDC is working on... My boy here needs to go to bed. Let's get him up. Might be the wrong OR. Oh, well, the target moved clear as her rescue operations were served. Gyro, not gyro. It's going it's to be something, isn't it? We need to figure it out. But it is. We're not, I say, not far off. We're, we're shooting in some kind of ran, random general direction. Honest governor. Manual mode. Let's get this thing above water so we can see what's going on. So we hit that. Let's try something completely different. Let's try something that's well out of the way. Hello, juicy target. Why can I not target you, though? I can lock onto you, but not you. Why can I not lock onto you? E. I cannot lock. Doesn't it just fire a straight line in front? Uh, that's like a Corvette. Let's find it. That's the one we've been shooting at. <laughs> the ever elusive one. Just want another one, really, don't we? Do I have to pick it up? So, that freighter apparently we don't have here. Uh, she's out of range, that's why. Is that... Ah, oh, is that what it is? Oh, we don't have vision on it. That's a fair shout. Let's just... Uh, that's a fair shout. So what's this guy here? Freighter unknown. Open targeting solutions. Right, let's try that again then. Because me, me boy is, is in desperate wanting, wanting and needing to go to bed. Really? Am I going to do that again? Well, we fired twice with manual torpedoes. And hit with manual torpedoes. But not what we were aiming at. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't make this up if I tried. But at least we proved that manual TDC is in the game. But we suck at using it. <laughs> and I'm getting dizzy. There we go. Nope, don't want you. Give me some. Give me something fat. Oh, really? Can I? Could have one of those. Let's 
So we shoot at this one. No, let's not shoot that one. Let's. I want something down here. Let's lock onto this thing. Lock. D. Sally, thank you. Uh, D. Cecil, thanks very much for the follow. Right, this is our new target. We have absolutely nothing in down here whatsoever. So let's go for uh, identification book. It is only got. Two main masts on the front, I think. So that to me looks like an NA1. Yeah? One of those, one of those. That's an NA1. British, right, we're in. Ghost ship on top of that. Set? No, my bad. Ghost ship on top of that. Lift up until the bit sits on the bottom, which is this bit here. There, set, four kilometers away, give or take. Ticking time bomb, this thing is doing no kilometers an hour, I would say. Point your periscope at the front of the target. Yeah, this isn't moving at all. But can we set a velocity of 0 0.1? Looks like we can. No. How do we increase? So, ah, yeah, zero kilometers, fine. And then we want this bad boy, which is the course. And that looks like that ish. Would you guys agree? So, 106. Any takers for more on 106? I'm going to set roughly at TCMT, check the map for the angle, so... Ah, but that's that's kind of cheating then. We don't want... Wars, that's definitely cheating. So we're going to we're gonna set that, I think, for one or... The bow's up front. 106. I reckon it's more like 1995. So a bow is a bow is up front. So ah, so a bow is up front. So you reckon it's like that? Sixty-four. I mean, in theory, they're going that way, aren't they? Ah, okay. So I wonder. Oh, I wonder if we're doing it wrong. So if we do manual. Yeah, so technically it's like that. In theory. I'm not sure that's at times eight, to be fair. That's better. Let's get that up in the air. No, uh, you can see the bridge in the front. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, to me it is... like that I agree so I'm, gonna, I'm actually just gonna do it as a, I'm gonna do it as I see that I should be doing it if it's wrong it's wrong so I, I'm, I agree with you guys the bows at the front it's kind of like that we'll leave it at 104 we'll set that at 104 we'll, we'll slap one more torp we'll slap one more torpedo out you reckon five more degrees plus five degrees course more what did we set it at One twelve. Three five one degrees. Should be a bug, but they're stationary. They are stationary, which is why I've set the zero uh, velocity to no miles an hour. Hi Matt, my wife and I want to come visit uh, visit England. Do you have any good places we could visit? Whew, there are loads, my friend. Absolutely loads. We're gonna fire one torpedo at this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to re undo that oh, and reflood the torpedo. Now we've got the new settings. It doesn't matter with the AOB if they are not moving. What's AOB? Angle of oh, angle of bow. An yeah, AOB angle of bow. Right, fire. Lost. Lost. Let's see where we got. 
only if they are moving. So in theory, we fire the torpedo at that bad boy there. Just next to a Corvette at 10 degrees to us. So 10 degrees to us is this one here then, in theory. Oh, am I missing something? It could be this one over here, actually, if that's the Corvette there. Nah, it can't be. Look where the torpedo's going. It's going downwards. Uh, I am at a loss. Let's follow, let's follow it and see where we go. Let's see if we look like we're going to hit anything. I think that's the secret, isn't it? The torpedo's covered half its distance. I would say we were aiming at that, but possibly going to hit that. Yeah, so I, I would say we're going to hit... So let's go back to the attack scope, manual mode, up. 20 Sekunden. So I think we're hitting this. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. I think. Treffer. Minimale Schäden. Okay. We hit it. Definitely hit it. Morning, chaps. Park Games, how are you, young sir? Not, yeah, nice indeed, absolutely. Yeah, we hit that bad boy. Big hole in the front, yeah. And uh, it's taking on water as well, so let's go and have a look at... Let's go and have a look at it, I think. Uh, where is it? That's the question. There's the boy. So that's what we were hitting. And let's go and have a look, see if it's sinking. It's looking particularly poorly. Yep, I suck at this, haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't we all, my friend? But that's not a bad shot. I will take that all day long. Love the map to real world zoom. Well, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is fair to say manual TDC is in the game. And uh, Nil Chat and all your developers. I absolutely and sincerely apologise for not demonstrating this before. I was blissfully unaware how it worked. Feed her another just to be sure. Yep, can do. Let's just give it one of those then, because we, we know it's going to hit. Uh, she, I don't think she's taking on water. Oh, we've got five. Is that five percent target solution on that? Oh no, let's not fire at that then. If we've only got five percent there. We definitely want this bad boy. Up again. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's better because that's got the angle here. That's interesting. So this keeps the angle already in here. So if we now close on that and fire, in theory... 5% in the cruise solution. Yeah, I think you're right. I think 5% was the cruise solution, and this is our solution. Did I just not click fire? No! Gosh! Get it away! Have it! So we know she's down here. There she is. Let's get it done and dusted, boys and girls. We're supposed to be looking for the lagoon as well, which we're not doing. You clicked uh, before flooding the tube. Ah, okay, I suck. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And let's do it this way. Happy days. There it goes. It was her at the back, wasn't it? That's interesting. It was, because I thought that was a Corvette at the back, to be honest. Ah, oh, have we missed that? We suck. 
I don't know. 20 Sekunden. Treffer. It's a hit, baby. Oh, there's the explosion. Have it. That was a very close shot. And where was it? There she is. There she is. I see there is de uh, depth setting on the Perry. Can I ask to see where the ID manual it states the depth of the keel? Uh, loot boxes, yay! They normally just have food in, don't they, if I'm honest. But we now need to find... We are sucking at oxygen, by the way. So... Oh, look at that. Is that. So it has sunk. It is going down. Main thing. Beautiful. We need to take care of some business on our boat, like go and turn on some oxygen. But... We need to yeah, send like these boys to bed. And they're absolutely crackered. Yeah, look like at them. It. And they are our three main target solutions as well. Engineer. Really, Conrad? Really? Really? You. You. Twitch chat. We have a slacker amongst us. <laughs> you know what to do. One, two, three, or four. One is a warning. Two is toilet cleaning. Three is a rest. Four is this bad boy gets executed. Four, four, four. Kill, kill. <laughs> Two toilets. Four. Is it the cook? It's not the cook. Four. Two. Uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours. It's fair to say. <laughs> yeah, Twitch tap is bloodthirsty today. Ein Matrose der Kriegsmarine ist stets wachsam. We have learned du Chande über TDC today. Manual TDC. Nun and this geezer is slacking next to an engine. Der Tod, den dir ein Offizier Walking der Todd, just subscribe with Twitch Prime. Todd, thank you very much. Timing was impeccable. That sailor shooting was purely and simply because we're harsh. <laughs> Just about just subscribe with a tier one. Thank you so much, guys. I genuinely and truly appreciate that immensely. Being a small streamer, every one of those really does make a difference to me significantly. I think we're now up to about eight. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That'll probably take me to about eighty pounds in my good old Twitch chat. And uh, yeah, superb. Thank you, young sir. That is very nice and very kind. And I did come back here for a reason. What was that reason? It was to turn on the oxygen ventilation. That's what it was. <laughs> to stop us all dying. And we also need to complete the mission, don't we? So let's just start. I think at this stage we just let these let these guys uh, take f find a solution. Sad thing is they can't because they're all asleep in bed. Yikes. Could you play Next Patrol on first person with manual TDC? Um, yeah, but I think in reality that will probably be tomorrow. I've only got like 45 minutes left on this stream, if I'm completely honest with you guys. So what I really want to do is find the lagoon, sink the lagoon. We've got four torpedoes. We will try and sink the lagoon. Manual TDC, because I think that will be so sweet to do that. And then I can honestly say we have done manual TDC. Uh, and that will be really good to upload to YouTube and pass that on to other people. That would be truly amazing. But these guys are absolutely cream crackered. And I, and I, are they, the question is, is, are they regening now they're in bed? If they're regening a little bit, then I think we're going to be fine. Because these guys aren't moving at the moment. We're generating oxygen. Is there a first person mode in this game? G Gang? Yeah, uh, within reason. So if I want to go to the engineer, I can double click on the engineer, leave the position, and that's now freedom from duty. Because it's silent running and everybody's doing what they need to do, this is the engine bay. That is the. In fact, there you go. They are just literally loading the torpedo now and heating it up and stuff. That's not a bad view. 
nice to see. That's the rear torpedo tube. He's just kept maintaining that and heating. Um, engine room, electric engines, diesel engines. Are you going to let me through? Don't be a stinker. Mistakes were made. Let me through. Get out of the way. Get, get. Nope, they're not going to let me through. So let's go to... Let's just send him to bird reassign. But you get the point. You can pretty much walk through the entire boat. Uh, this, this, this boy's asleep, I think. So if I can just leave the bunk here. Would be nice to set up. So would you be so kind to give... the devs? Give the devs what? Thunder, I missed that, sorry. So this is the main... Uh, in fact, where are we? This is the... So this is the main front of the boat, here's the four, to four torpedo tubes here. Bunk beds for the crew. Good old cabinet. Give my boy a drink of coffee, because he needs it. Radio, that's the sonar room there. That's the radio room there. This brings us through into the main boat. Map, re map reading, up to the conning tower. Dive valves. I have never, ever, ever used that that position there, ever. Echo sounder, you can see it below the boat, above the boat, the pump clears the, uh, clean, empties the bilges, the light changes the light within the ship, red, blue or green, the galley where he cooks, and then that's the, the other side of those two individuals there that we got stuck on. So I hope you found that run through <sighs> disgustingly fast, but at least, you know, you've got a view of that, um, send them back to bed. Yeah, let's just fast forward. So we need to kind of get above time, don't we? Just because these boys are absolutely cream crackered here. But I hope you found that useful, man. Oh, setting the torp depth. Yeah, uh, thunder. I can, uh, I can ask. I can pass on. But I think TDC is TDC at the moment. It is as it is. I, I, can't, in reality, I can't see him changing much in the next three days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? So that's a destroyer on the bounce. I'm fine with that. Let's get these boys back into action now. They, they appear to have reasonable health and stuff. So he's gone back on the sonar. He's gone back on the attack periscope. I want my boy here on the normal periscope. So in theory now we should have freighters, manual, and, and for, if the, for those of you that are interested the other way around, this boy's on the radio, when he's underwater you don't want him on the radio, have him on the sonar. Oh my god, I've got to take some clouds, honestly, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. So, rate, so the sonar, not radio, so sonar. Uh, normal periscope and attack periscope should give us three options now once it all comes out make sure they've all got crew which they have and then when you click on the freighter here you should now have three people and you just click all three and all three then work together to work out a solution and you talk and the solution is there at 39 percent and what they'll do is they'll start to populate these which is what we just did on the manual tdc um, I think he normally he normally does, or he's supposed to, but he's just a bit of a slacker. <laughs> the man's just a bit of a slacker. But yeah, shameless plug, guys. If you haven't been and followed my YouTube channel, link is down below in the Twitch chat. I'm trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, just because then my videos get monetized, and I get a penny for every advert that plays. When it well, a penny about every six times it's played. And if you're sitting on an Amazon Prime and you're not using it. Feel free to use it on me. I would greatly appreciate that because when I get to about eight more subs or some or eight more of those, I think I've breached the $100 mark that Twitch holds the money and the revenue from. And then they send me a check or it goes in PayPal or, or however it works. Honestly, don't know. Never been paid out by Twitch. So that's my shameless plug done, as you do. Hopefully this guy here is now... Yeah, so we're kind of getting on here. Let's, let's just accelerate time. 
we're looking for the lagoon. If, if we find the lagoon, it's definitely going to be a freighter. We know that. Glassberg's done 50 bits. Thank you, my friend. I greatly appreciate those all those bits. I genuinely do that. So, so kind. Fifty for the one hundred dollar mark. The one hundred dollar mark is just a, a, a nice little pipe dream, to be fair. Make sure to play the captain. His taxes will execute. Absolutely. Um, how do I get to know the name of the ship then, or do I need to actually be closer to that ship? Torpedo, 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 ausrichten. Because I appear to be finding freighters, but not their name. Flower class freighter, freighter, freighter. So if anybody knows how you actually find the name of these things, then that would be great. And I am going to start, I think, let's start our engines and get ourselves going. Let's just go one. I wonder if we have to be within a certain distance. 24% or 26% on the Liberty, so I can see what's going on there now, so that's fine. That destroyer's jogged off, hasn't he? Is that a freighter there? Yes, yeah, so that's another freighter there at the back. What's this here? This is a freighter here. I think we've got that one already done, haven't we? Yeah, I'm just wondering if you have to be so close to get the name. See, that's that's a no, but 91%. That's a destroyer. That's a freighter. Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo course berechnet. Bezel, do just subscribe with a tier one. Thank you so much, my friend. That is amazing. It really is. I appreciate that immensely. Genuinely, that's so so kind. Thank you. Greatly appreciate that. That's so so kind and generous. You guys are amazing. Honestly, absolutely amazing. But if anybody knows how to name a ship, I wonder if I just need to look at the ship. Where's my TDC guy? As you do. Let's go for manual mode, because I am. Um, that's the way we roll. There we go. Ugh. E is lock on ship. So that is a freighter, and he hasn't named it yet. We can definitely identify that, can't we? That is a. Is it the N class that I think it was? Oh, hang on a minute. Ooh. I'm it wasn't the Liberty, was it? It wasn't that. It was the it, yeah, the NA class. So I think that was the NA class. So that gives us British, but it doesn't give us the ship name. Do you have a mission log you can look at or read? You do. Um, there's two ways to do that. Let me just let that boy do his thing. You can come up to the menu here and click on Journal. And then read it here, and which says we have information that technology has been loaded onto the freighter Empire Lagoon. It must be sunk at all costs, its predicted location. And then we've reached sector coordinates. We've sunk an Empire Light and we've sunk a Flower Class. And we've sunk an NA1. So the freighter Empire Lagoon. Uh, but we've sunk an Empire Light. Ah, I wonder if. Hmm. Interesting. Just sink all the freighters. <laughs> Look at each ship. Uh, the left bow is her name. Really? So let's go for the NA1. Unknown. That one's making it up. Definitely not on that one. Let's go for there's a freighter here and uh, let's just stop this thing at the moment. There's a freighter here. Check the one with the green dot on it. One sec. It's got a green dot on it, then I'm I'm just gonna be so uh, uh where's the green dot? There isn't one with the green dot. Uh, 
Von Pelz just donated 200 bits. Thank you, my friend. That is truly, truly amazing. So nice, so kind. Thank you. That's a Corvette. Don't want that. This says somebody says one with. I don't see one with the green dot on it. See, I think this one's closer, but we're still not getting its name, are we? We're still not going to get its name. We've stopped the boat, so let's go for two. So it's about what do you reckon that is? Uh, three sixty. That's about three three twenty. So let's go 320 on the normal periscope, manual mode. Three twenty, there we go. So if we zoom in on that bad boy, times three and time oh no, don't want to do that. Times eight. Times Really? Times eight. Go to glass. Look at the map again, there is a ship with a map tool on it. A ship with a map tool on it. Where am I looking? Left of the two with the X. This one here has got that tool because it, it, he's being targeted with the A on it. So if I select this one for instance, I think it is. So that just shows that as an NA1. This one's a Liberty. That's just a freighter unknown, similar to Empire. Ah, so that's similar to Empire Explorer. So this bad boy Torpedo, wants to be targeted. Because aren't we looking for an Empire Explorer? Empire. Oh, it's a freighter. So yeah, we're looking for a freighter Empire Lagoon. But that's similar to an Empire Explorer. So could it be that one? So is it this bad boy here? And why can I only see two people targeting? Because my boy here has gone to bed. You lazy dog, you. And what's worse is he needs to go to bed too. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's this. Potentially. This one. Let's just fast forward time a minute. At least he's in bed getting some sleep, so that's a bit of a bonus. Empire class with large size vessels. Yeah, I mean, that's quite quite big. And what are these at the back here? Ah, yeah, we can't see those because he's in bed. Sweet. That's moving at one kilometer an hour as well. If only you could get lucky and have a... Yeah. <laughs> These guys need to get to bed as well. That's the worst thing about it. I've got to send them to bed. They are so, so, so tired. Where's all that sight coming from then? See, to me, there should be an identifier or, or some uh, visual detective. We have a visual bearing on this site. Does this convoy have an escort? They do. He's legged it, mate. The destroyer's there. The destroyer's there. Freighter, freighter, freighter. I mean, there's freighters all over the place. Corvettes. Freighters. Empire Light. Tiny group. Oof. We've got 73% target on that. How do I find the name of the ship? That is the question. Uh, do a flyover each one. Each one of the one you kill will have a name on it, you reckon? So, Empire Light here, bow. That one's looking grim. We haven't completed the mission though, so... I don't think it is that one in particular. So, it's not that one. And this one was a Corvette, I think. No, this is a flower class. Flower class. Yeah, that one's looking grim. Yeah, that was like a Corvette though, wasn't it? So 
So I'm not too sure. Let's just pass some time. My boys are in bed now anyway, so I'm happy with that. They're, they're getting the stuff done. He's polishing his torpedoes immensely. Very nice indeed. Liberty, freighter, corvette, freighter, freighter, freighter. There is a lot of freighters that we haven't looked at. Definitely a lot of freighters. So he's, ah, there we go, he's, he's back on now. Torpedo ausrichten. Torpedo course 74% on that one. There's a freighter, Torpedo freighter here ausrichten. we haven't targeted, so let's just target that one. 22, 27, uh, NA1. I'll just try. I'll just try it and see what happens. Try the two below. Look at each boat via the camera and the ship. You need to kill. Should have a name on it. Yeah, I think it does eventually. I think it does eventually. I'll just cycle through these and, and see what we get. Liberty freighter. It's when you click on it if it's got a name on it, because the name does a, does appear on it eventually. So if we start at the back, freighter, great. So we're not seeing any name on that one. Let's go for this freighter here. Empire lifeguard. So that one's got a name on it. Who are we looking for? Empire Lagoon. That one doesn't have a name on it. Definitely not a freighter. Liberty, Empire, first class. Freighter. I'd say the one name may be wrong. Do you reckon it's that other one? You reckon it's this one back? Is it this one here? Was it this one here? Yeah, you reckon it's this one here? Torpedo ausrichten. Kill the one with the name and see what happens. Yeah, only the one with the name. Fair enough. Empire Lagoon. Which was this one here, I, I believe. Let's just double check that it is that one there. It is that one there. So, how are we going to target designate that bad boy? Is there a realism mode with that external cam? Oh, yeah. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Let's go. Are we going to manual TDC this one, guys? That's what I forgot to ask. So these guys now should be... Let's get them back to where they need to be. Is there a realism mode? Auto. Ah, so a couple of saying autos. Couple, uh, one auto, one TDC. So let's go for... So we've already... So it's to the right. Auto for time's sake. Let me just see if I can find it. For, if I can find it with the TDC, Kapitän. then I would like to do it with the TDC, if I'm honest. Herr Kaloy. Because that would be nice. That would that would be like the YouTube dream. <laughs> auto. Auto! No, you lose it. Auto! Get on the attack periscope, stop you slacking. He's gone back to bed, look. The lazy. Uh, your hydro guy is back on the radio. God, he's a slacker. This crew's horrendous, man. Radio room loser. Woof. Captain. Oh, do you know what? Sometimes you're just better off doing it yourself, aren't you? Have you had your tea? I haven't. How rude. I bet half's upstairs, actually. She's packing. She normally makes me a brew. So not that she ever watches these videos, but a big massive shout out to her for being truly amazing for allowing me to be able to do this for you guys. Really? Is this geezer really just gonna... 
That's because he's on the attack periscope, isn't he? Ah, okay, so let's put him. It looks like they've swapped around, so we'll just put him on the normal periscope. Uh, I don't know. We'll, 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 we will certainly figure it out, put it that way. Push now that. Deep. So we want this guy. Manual mode. Up in the air. Let's just raise this up slightly. Really? There we go. Um, it's zero in front. So I think that's it possibly there. I honestly think that's it there. Times, so we already are times eight, I think. Times one. Times three. Times eight. But that's not showing a name, is it? And I think it's the other one. I think I'm tracking that one at the moment, the NA1, and I need to be tracking that one. Name is on the side. Oh, hang on. I think it's that one I need to track. That one there. So that one's a bit too grey for me, and there's a, a freighter behind there. Don't know what that that yellow thing means there. Unless that unless that's the mission. Is that the mission? Perhaps because it's got the little yellow thing on it. Hang on a minute. Do all four for. The problem is we're going to get the wrong one, isn't it? Put it in gear. Let's go and play. Schneller, schneller. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Zu Befehl. So this was it. We think, don't we? Yeah, it's kind of got a bluish hull, hasn't it? Where I think we're targeting that it's the blue ship yeah I agree attack periscope manual mode up scope it's this one here isn't it at the back so unlock I think it's that one there agreed do you guys agree on that one I think it's that. Yes, fair enough. So we're going for that then. Let's go for um, identification. Let's get that out of the way. Empire Explorer? No, it doesn't have a thing on the front, does it? It's definitely not a Liberty. It's not a Flower Class. It's not an Isles. An NA1. It's not an NA1. What do we think it is? Ah, an Empire Bell or an Empire Tower? An Empire Bell. Empire Tower. Two mass, one stack. Two mass, one stack. So I'm going for an... Empire Tower. Empire Tower, I think. Yeah, that's two Empire Towers. We've got an Empire Tower. Fair enough at that. Uh, standometer. Let's go for... We have to set this above, don't we? So where's the ship? It is that point there, I think. So we'll set that. Three kilometers. Great. Uh, the velocity is zero. Because it's not moving. Enter that. And that leaves the course. Let's match that. Let's stop the boat. Langsamer. We're now being shot at by the destroyer, so we need to get a wiggle on and fast. 
back to manual mode. Really, why is he? Uh... There it is. Let's go times three. That's not the boat that I were looking for, is it? It's not that one. It's gone behind there, hasn't it? Ah, you stinker. So I think I think it's about 101 anyway. Yeah, the shooting of a periscope. It's behind those two. I think you're right. Can we still command the boat from here? Let's see if we can get ourselves moving slightly. Looks, looks like we've stay got to get past this one, haven't we? Fire two. Let's just see if we can get past this one first. Because this isn't the way at the moment. There we go. So I think we're just going to set it at that. Let's set it at 15.6 degrees. Come to port. Let's fire two torps. Hitting that's going to be a bit of a stinker though, isn't it? Come hard left. Let's fire and just uh, let's just fire and see what we get, guys. We've got some torpedoes left anyway. Fire! Uh, I wonder if that won't fire because the solution's not right, or, or we've got something in the way. That destroyer is turning towards us. Yep, we need to get a wiggle on. Um, so if that's the case, I am literally going to go, boys, give me a target solution for that, Copy, that and that. Ausrichten. And see what they come up with. Then yeah, we can get out of here, I think. That's still class of freighter, Corvette, freighter, just checking all the names. Empire Leonard. So that's an Empire Leonard. Empire Livingston. Empire Lagoon, that's the target. That's the target there. Torpedo, torpedo kurs berechnen. This could be interesting. <laughs> cancel and cancel. Yep, yeah, I know it is. That's the boy, the blue one here. And it doesn't have the name on the boat. Uh oh, yep, we are literally, uh, ooh. How much target have we got in the Empire Lagoon? 89%, fire a torpedo. Rohr 1, bewässern. Rohr 3, bewässern. Fire. Rohr 1, bewässert. Chip 1, flooded. Fire. Los! Fire. We get it, maximum meter. crush depth, let's get out of here. And for you guys that want to see how it works, I'm going to actually turn towards this bad boy and see what he does. We can't just scuppers anyway, crash dive, we're already crash diving. We are getting the heck out of dodge. Death charges in the water. This will be uh, this will be interesting. We don't want to see that. Where's the crew? Schiffsschrauben direkt über uns, Herr Kaloy. 20 Sekunden. We are low on power as well. You absolute beauty. Timsy, yeah, please show third person death charges around you. Yep, will do. We are out of here. Woof. You hit a ship. Which one? That should be the Empire Lagoon. But we is gone. Course setzen. Save. 
Very much so, save. Absolutely. Uh, save as... Uh, manual TDC works. We just suck at it. Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, I think we we're already on silent running, to be fair. I think we were, weren't we? Yeah, it's all blue. Yeah, it's all it's all blue, so we are aiming for silent running and we are using an awful lot of power go silent we already are blue blue is silent running basically Langsamer. let's slow the boat down now my boy is on sonar too let's see if we can sneak away at this point We sunk the Empire Lagoon, boys! Booyah! Very nice indeed. Now the question is, is can we get home? Auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Can we get home? And get out of here. We've got a destroyer and a Corvette on us. So we're looking pretty grim. Legen Sie den Kurs an! Ooh. Yeah, he knows where we are. He knows where we are. And somebody did want to see the depth charges. Did we hit our target? Uh, we did, Merit. We've sunk our target. We've done what we need to do. It's just that everybody else knows where we are at this stage. So we're in a world of pain. I'm probably about to get depth charged. Absolutely good now of. Yeah, they definitely know we're here. They keep changing course. Abfang course berechnen. Yeah. Until they stop and back uh, uh, them until they back then slow. He is literally above us at this stage. Is he dropping depth charges though? Doesn't look like he is at the moment. I think he's kind of trying to suffocate us here out of power, which is... Yeah, going to put us in trouble. So I think what I'm going to do is go... Let's try, let's try see if this works. Let's clo close off the bow torpedo room. Done. Kill the power. We want operations. Um, we want that. Let's close off the main engine room. We don't need that. We don't have a snorkel, we suck. And I like it, you see how they've closed off both compartments. We can kill power to that. We need the galley crew quarters. Let's close off that. Done. We've got that. Got that. All vents are off. And I think we just keep going until we basically run out of power. Um, who have we got an engineer in here? Where is he? Where's my boy? Gyroscope. Yeah, I'm just about to turn off a gyroscope now. I just want somebody to go over there and turn it off. All stop, go deep. We are definitely deep. Let's turn off the gyro. Steering engines and electric engines are on. We are only going forward one, though. All stop. That leaves steering engines at 85 decibels. And we can't hear nothing. But how much? Fuel? So we're not using energy. That's the secret. Have to turn off the steering engine. Klaus, I honestly don't know. <laughs> that would be a peach to find out, though. 
Schiffsschrauben direkt über uns her. Ship propeller is directly above us. So we are as literally as blind as a good Schiffsschrauben direkt über uns her, Kaloi. So I'm gonna send the crew to bed because they can't do anything. We can't just sit in here now wait waiting out the uh, inevitable. My boy can't even get to the bunk, I don't think. Yeah, he can't get to the bunk because we've closed off the crew quarters. Um do we need to close off the crew quarters? I don't think we do. I think we can open up the crew quarters. Yeah, let's open up the crew quarters. Yeah, there we go. So at least the crew can go to bed, but kill power. Keep some guy tracking the escort. Is he in the radio room again? Really? Oh no, he's gone to bed. That's fine at the moment. Let him rest. We can't do anything anyway. We are using we are using a bit of oxygen. Ooh, that just jumped down some. Trying to be sneaky big here. All right, curb it in. Yeah, I guess. So he's back to full. He's back to full. He's back to full. There we go. At least we get sound now. Anyone at the hydro? No. What the uh, ship propellers? What was that? We're going to have to move soon, boys and girls, because our oxygen is being used. Execute a few agreement to save O2. Yep. Actually, let's check on the cook. I love the bananas. Please repay me. Oh, Von Felch, you've just been... Uh, You've just been scuppered, my friend. Shall we try and sneak off, boys, on engine one at this stage? Bearing in mind we are extremely low oxygen at 36% and power of 33%. Keep moving ahead at slow speed. Yep, good shout. Fair enough. We are engine one. Schneller, schneller. Suffocate them all. Oh, wow, harsh. See how far we can get. Try to sneak away. Yeah, trying to now. If we get, if we get a couple of kilometres away, we'd be alright. But that's... I think we're struggling. And we're going to have to turn oxygen back on in a minute. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Herr Kaloy. That's the worst thing. We need oxygen, otherwise we're doomed. Uh, uh, I don't have power to the room, do I? Don't have power. So we need to grant power to the room, and then my boy here turns on the ventilation. Crapser is following. Thank you very much for following, man. I appreciate that, guys. I genuinely do. Superb. <laughs> uh, oxygen should be going back up in a second. He says, oh, we're in trouble. Silent running, blue usage minus 15%, crew minus 4. And that's silent running as well. Am I 
missing something here. Why isn't my oxygen going back up? Ready the aft top, I think you could be right. Because that doesn't appear to be doing much. And we need to get to the surface pretty quick. Might be past the ability of the scrubbers. Yeah, I think you're right. This character is always busy. We may have to service the boat, boys. <coughs> Otherwise, <coughs> we're going to start losing crew. Auf zero tief again. Surface and run on diesels. Uh, yeah, the problem with that is, is we're just going to die because he will hunt us down absolutely and kill us. Uh, I tell you what, it might be actually. Erkaloi. No. Ugh. No, wrong one. Erkaloi. I wonder if it's a bug on the lights. So if I go normal lighting, does it work? Will it not run it while it's on silent? So if I go normal lights, does it then? have any effect on that. Let's turn some lights on. Lights are on on that. Where's my boy? Let's turn it off just for a minute. Put mask on and stuff. I don't think you can, to be honest. Right, so that's off. Now turn it back on. That definitely sounds like I'm being depth charged at. So let's put the 20 scrubbers There we go. Put the scrubbers in. We put the scrubbers in, guys. Vents are empty. Yep, already on it. We're now getting oxygen back up. That's fine. Yep. Oh, look at that. Screenshot. Oh, that's grim. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Performance decreased. I would say so. <laughs> I think there's one or two too many depth charges there. Oh yeah, yeah. Ian absolutely right, but that's um That's a bit of an aggressive response from a destroyer. In World War Two, I don't think they were pushing them overboard that quick. <laughs> that was pretty grim. However, boys, that is absolutely nine o'clock. So unfortunately, my t my time is up for today. So as sad as it is, we have done a manual TDC. It would have been so nice to got back to base and had that through. Uh, again, my humble apologies to. Uh, Nilcat, that was something I was not aware of how to use. I've used it. I will slam this up on YouTube uh, in the next five minutes, so hopefully people will then understand how to, to do that. And then they can hone their own skills in their own time. So well done, Des, for leaving that in. Um, but shame on you for not giving me the information. I'm, a <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> nice to put it in the manual. I will probably see you all tomorrow at the same time, uh, 7 o'clock, for another two-hour stream, because that's sad, and I have a full-time job that I need to attend to, and that pays my bills. This doesn't. Uh, if there's anything you want to see tomorrow, guys, by all means, just let me know. Send me a, uh, I don't know, let, let me know somewhere there's something else you want to see or test or all those good things, and I will do my absolute darndest to make it happen. We have two hours to do that. It only takes us about five minutes to get the boat ready to get out of the harbour, so we can get that good testing stuff done. I'll probably raise a bug report on how many depth charges that destroyer can drop because darn that was a vein that was harsh. Everyone felt 50 bits. Thank you, my friend. I literally appreciate all those so so much. Uh, much this stream, but have a nice one. Uh, Ian, it wasn't a long stream. It was, it was basically two hours. That, that's pretty much all I can do. 
Last one for the shameless plug. YouTube, subscribe, and uh, Amazon Prime if you have it. Great. And you're never going to use it. Feel free to drop it on the channel. Tomorrow, I suspect there'll be a patch, so we'll read the patch notes and get cracking. But until then, guys, have a fantastic what's left of your weekend and all those good things. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.